Wow, 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 we Jackie. Season six now. <laughs> <laughs> so you know the paychecks is getting right. No, you know, I got to return this. <laughs> Come on, I'm still Cinderella. <laughs> I love this. Okay, so Jackie, talk to me. First off, you chopped your hair off. When did you do this? And what made you want to just say, you know what? It's um, whatever. Um, I, I just, I, I feel like... Um, I don't know, my long hair has been such a big part of me my whole life, being Latina, being a woman. And um, I just started chopping it off slowly. And then I was like, you know what? I want to go all the way. And it felt like it was the first time I made the decision for myself. Mm. And I found the new me. And, <laughs> and I just was like, oh, I love it. And it was a choice that I made for myself, not my mom telling me don't cut your hair, you know right. what I mean? Or my agent or a manager. It was just me finding myself and feeling comfortable in my own skin. And I was like, I don't need my hair. And you feel liberated. You just like, this is what it is. Yeah, and I'm I'm just, I'm not Flaca every day. You know, because ah. like, that, that was my old hairstyle. Like, I brought that hair to Flaca. Right. So then I just felt like like um, like um it wasn't me anymore. So yeah. I started changing my look up. I did an afro. I tried everything. And um the short hair was what won. So do we get to see this on Flaca for season six, by the way? No. Okay. I, so was been wearing after. a half wig for two years now. Yeah. <laughs> so, no. No, no, okay. no, no. Okay, so let's talk about this. Before we start talking about Orange is the New Black, let's talk about your music. <sighs> yes. Do um, you feel free right now because you're actually, you know, able to create your own music? Yeah, like, um, I've been working on, like, I moved to New York for music, and mm. I quit acting for a long time because I wasn't the stereotypical Latin woman that Hollywood's used to seeing, right. you know? So, because Dominicans, you know, in, in right. Hollywood, they were like, I don't know where to place you. So, I wasn't getting jobs. So, I quit for like five years and I focused on music and it brought me to New York. And um, I've been, you know, I, I, I had my video in the show called Seven back in the day. Yeah. And it felt like I was making it, but I wasn't making any money yet. <laughs> so, I miss acting and, and Orange was my first audition in, in New York, you know, and, that, and Flaca was my first, you know, big break and then you know um i felt like acting took a little first you know seat but that didn't stop me from you know performing with my band the family portrait even like uh jenji cohen has come to my shows at the bitter end so awesome yeah and samira wiley and danielle brooks i remember it was just four and they were the two that were there <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so it's just been a long journey and people need to understand that music is my first love it's not like oh she sings now no, I've been singing my whole life, and and it's it's something that I'm gonna do whether you know you like it or not because it's in my in my heart. Oh, I like this confidence. I <laughs> I feel the energy right now. Yeah, yeah. And you were really excited about your song, so tell me a little bit more about it. So it's called Laura Loca, uh -huh. and you can get it on all digital platforms. Spotify has has been giving me a lot of love, so thank you, AJ. <laughs> um, Honestly, I just, um, I feel um, like this song is called Laura Loca because in the Dominican Republic around midnight, the wet, like a wedding night, like uh -huh. it becomes slow and people want to go home. But um, Laura Loca comes out and it's like crazy hours. So like a carnival comes out with, you know, mask and stilts and pitos and whistles and people go crazy. And then you stay up for another four hours. Damn. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> when yeah. you hear my song, it makes you want to dance. You yeah. Know? So that's why I wanted to give like, you know, uh, homage to my country. Yeah. So of that's why I called it that. But the song is about. Um, you know, a few relationships I've been in where I've paid most of the bills. And um, oh, the song, the hook is, si tu quieres estar conmigo, you're going to have to work. So if you want to be with me, you're going to have to work. Like, I'm not just going to pay your bills and, like, you know, while you make your art. Like, for me, I was a waitress at Lavo for two years while I was in season one and two. So no one did that for me. So, you know, I, I, I just, I'm tired of, of, of that game. I, I need to change that cycle, so I did. Wait a minute. You were paying bills out here for others i mean this is not i don't want to say that because i don't want the person to feel terrible i i it was i offered it because oh, you're very nice i never i never you know i wanted that person to live their dream and you know it's hard this 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 life is hard so i said you know I, maybe when i'm down you'll help me but it sure. felt like it felt like it was just me up all the time and then i felt like if i was down we were down 
forever. Yeah. Like, listen, like, yeah. I know the struggle and I don't want to go back, you know? Yeah. So I just, I need a partner. I need, you know, someone to lift the other side of the couch. I think it's so important. You yeah. have to. It's a mm -hmm. give and take relationship. You know, yeah. it's not just one way. Are you in a relationship? Oh, it's, a, it's a brand new thing. So, yeah, we're dating and it kind of is getting there, but it is. It is there. You're smiling so big. Uh, Are you, wait. I'm not so, this is the first time I say it and it's to you. Oh my God! I'm like, thank like, you. I live. love you. This, <laughs> like, <laughs> what, were you hesitant to share that yeah, personal because, side? Because you're very private. Yeah, because my relationship just ended, you know, not too long ago, and it was just something that um, I, I just saw in a person that you know I w I, w I wanted again, like a partnership instead of you know me doing all the work. And that's what my music is about. My life, about like relationship, about my car accident. I have a song called Sweet 16 about, and it's not like a depressing, like emo album. Sure. It's, it makes you want to dance, but I talk about real shit. So wait, tell me about this car accident and what happened yeah, for you. Um, when I was 16, I moved out. And um, uh, when I was 17, I went through a window and I Jeez. had a, ba a bad like car accident, brain surgery. Oh my gosh. My head was shaved. That's another thing while like I was so afraid to lose my hair again, you know, when I was small because it was shaved off. Right. You know, and then um, my face was scarred up and then, you know, I couldn't smile. It was crooked. My eyes were crooked. So I gave up on, on this acting and this singing career at a young age because I thought you needed to be beautiful just to be a, even considered in this world so I, I i almost gave up and there was this little girl melly moreno that i met in the hospital she was 10 and um she came to my room and um she's you know she's on a wheelchair and she said i think you're really pretty and she saw beside like the shaved head and she saw like something in me that i didn't see in myself so that mm. song i dedicate to her and she did hear it because we're still friends we oh found each other gosh. on instagram and um, yeah, she's she she played a big part of my life, and she's like, I didn't know I meant so much to you. <laughs> and that's how life is. You never know who you're affecting, which is why I always try to remind people: try to be kind. You know, people forget to be kind to themselves, and then just to others, like just day to day, and try not to expect anything back. And I know that's hard because we're such in a society that's take 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 take. But sometimes it's all right to just give, like you're beautiful give a compliment and just do it because you know you're gonna make someone happy mm -hmm. and I think that's I, that's important and uh I, I like your energy I'm really enjoying it I feel I'm I'm different this time than you saw me last because I was a little you're not insecure but like I a little bit afraid to speak up to speak Why? up because you know I was new to this world and now I've been in it for six years and I'm still new it's still you're the still, beginning right. for me and um, it, I was afraid to share like what I believed in, to share like my accident. I don't want people to think that I'm a victim because I'm not. Because I use that to empower others. That's right. why I use my story. But before I was like, oh my God, people are gonna think I'm a victim, car accident, brain surgery. Right. But no, like uh, the moment I started sharing my story, like people were like, wow, because you did this, it makes me feel like I can do exactly. this. Exactly. Yeah. So yes, I started sharing. Yes, share it. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. Is, is so important because so many of us are insecure. Just as mm -hmm. just to be a woman in this world, mm -hmm. it, you have to climb incredible mountains to get over your own insecurities. So when we know someone's gone through something, damn, and you made it, that's a win for all of us right yeah, now. It's just the beginning. I don't feel like I've, I'm there yet, right. but I'm just at the like brink of it I, I know it because my music is going to take me to the next level of course that's and what i feel i feel like it's different than acting because you're able to really control the music more mm -hmm. we're acting it's like it's someone else's script yeah so you're telling someone else's story right and you're being someone else right. so that's easier for me ah that's another thing i just got comfortable in my skin i got comfortable with my body whatever i have scars no scars you know what i mean i got comfortable just being myself and the moment I became myself things just started happening for me do you remember that moment was there a time where you just like oh, you know what fuck it it was this year really well I was always myself but like I always cared what other people thought of me right. but this this year I, I'm a different person and it's because I'm in this Hollywood world where it is fake and I'm, I'm starting to 
um, see the fakeness and I, that and I when I would walk into a room in Hollywood, I'm being honest with you, yeah. I never felt like I belonged there. I felt like, oh my God, there's this person, there's this person. I'm nervous. I don't belong here. And then I realized it's because I'm not like them, and that's right. why I never fit in. And uh, maybe I'm just you know genuine, and and yes. I just feel like people aren't in Hollywood, and that's yes. why I never <laughs> really liked it too much. But um, yeah, so th it was this year. Someone stole a few ideas from from me in a, like a movie idea from me, and I was just like, you know what? Wow, I just saw a person. Wow, really like do that to me, and um, it, and I'm still telling my story because she changed it to to uh, to, to you know for it to work for her, right? And she changed the color, <laughs> so she changed a brown story to a white story. But anyways, um, it's still happening, you know? Right. So regardless, like, I, I'm just over it. I don't give a crap anymore what you think of me, and I'm just going to do my thing. So I started my own production company, Unspoken right. Productions. Is that what sparked it? Pretty much, yeah. I, she lit a fire under me, and I was just like... I'm, Is there anything you could do to retrieve it, or are you just like, okay, lesson learned, I see what's going on? I think lesson learned... Lesson learned because I believe it, it changed a little bit too much for me to, I could say something in the future, but um, I, I'm going to make, do my story. And maybe, you know, when it's successful, because I know it will be because it's an incredible story, um, I'll talk about it. Right. But that's what lit me up this year. And then I saw John Leguizamo's play, you know. I heard it's incredible. It, it is Latin history for morons. And I cried while everybody was laughing. I was crying. Why? Because, um... I guess someone called his son a, you know, a beaner or something. And he went to the father's house and said, you know, if you're going to call my son something, make sure that it's the right name. And he's a spick and this and that and this. And everybody was laughing and I was just crying, you know, because number one, it touched me mm -hmm. because, hello, that's what happens to all Latinos. You know, they, right. they think we're just one thing. And then I met him like backstage and i was just like damn i needed that i needed that because it's our history was erased back then and it's still trying to be erased now so that's why i started my company so i could tell our stories and show that we were always represented but uh, that we were always there just never represented and the reason you look like that is i'm sure you're mixed and the reason i look like this is i'm mixed so i'm going to tell those stories that no one has heard well, I'm glad you started it. Yeah. This is important. You're writing your own film. Well, I'm I'm, I'm smart. I'm a smart girl. Yeah, you know, I'm not a writer. I, I write my own music. You know, right. with uh, my co-writer FIFA. But film, uh, I haven't tapped into that market for writing. But I I know good writing. So I found this incredible writer. Oh. Her name is Car Carol Garlic. She's gonna write my Oscar movie one day. <laughs> and you know what? That's what I want to use my platform for for other people that yes. are talented that I could expose not expose in a bad way but show the yeah. world so they can make it too so that's what I it's not for me anymore I don't I want my sister not to work as hard as I did you know mm. what I mean she's 11 she's watching me on TV and 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 feeling like it's possible man look at you right <laughs> now I love well, this my, my, my mentor is Carmen Perez so listen you know how we <laughs> feel about Carmen I was yeah. gonna ask you how did how did that relationship build Carmen yeah um, we did a panel together, right? And then after I asked her to come over so we could like talk one on one, and I fell in love with her like she's my long lost sister, and I, and I just I just I don't know she's comes to support me and I go support her. I might sing at her wedding, who knows? Yes, for and real. She's, literally, she's made me feel like my stories are valid and my opinions are valid, and and I need to share them. And why not? Carmen Perez is one of the most selfless people I'll ever probably know in my lifetime and mm -hmm. how much she dedicates her life to the people and she cares about everybody you know mm -hmm. it's not just issues that necessarily daunt her existence her her family she's out here she's putting in that work so if you don't know about Carmen Perez do yourself a favor and do some research she does incredible work with Justice League but Aaron I mean Belafonte yes quote artists are um um the gatekeepers of the truth and that stuck with me right that stuck with me a lot and I was like you know what if the president you know, is a reality star. Why is his opinion more important than mine? And that's how I started thinking. And I'm like, you know what? I don't care. I'm having trolls, of course, you know, right. in my in my Instagram. But unfollow me if you don't like it.
God, I love this. But this is this is not the old me. This is the new me. But you're so unapologetic about yourself, and I love this. The older you get, the more you care less about Absolutely. what people think. Absolutely. Because number one, it's like you're gonna die alone anyway. <laughs> you really are. But I just I don't know. I've always been, you know, this person is just um I don't wanna be like rude or anything. I just wanna like share my opinion. Yeah, and as you should, and uh, and you are very unapologetic about yourself and where you stand on this. I know you talked about immigration rights, LGBTQ rights, and why is that so important for you? Um, I just want, I feel like people feel so alone in this world already. Right. So if someone's speaking about, you know, their truth or 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 believing in in your truth and like m making you feel powerful and your, you know, I feel like you have to do it. I have no other choice but to you know be the voice for the unknown in a way and that's again why I, I started my own production company and again like I feel like in in Hollywood like women always say they want to help each other but I really I really don't see it right. like people talk about it all the time and you know and 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 the whole me too movement which was you know an incredible thing for hollywood but you know i feel like we need to continue to layer it because you know women in prison felt a little you know outed out and a lot of people felt a little like they weren't included in in, in the me too movement and i just feel like we need to layer you know because it happens to not you know, just people in hollywood but all over the world right and in in all workplaces and um i i, I definitely applaud you know Hollywood for coming out and you know talking about right. it because now it's making f people women feel like they can speak up without it being held against them yeah and that's I also fear. feel like there should be a movement with when when women you know obviously like screw each other up in Hollywood right. because we're no one's talking about that and um, oh yeah. I see it every day and I'm I'm tired of the fakeness how do you dodge that I create my own lane Mm. with music and with with my with my art and that's the whole thing people like like his like latinas are afraid sometimes to speak up because some of us haven't even gotten to the level of you know certain people to even like yo i don't even want to say anything right. because i'm not even at that level yet people are not going to want to work with me because right. you know if you speak up oh she she's feisty you know what i right. mean but it's not that i just you know it's respect that's all are, are there any latinas that you admire so much that you just they're so unapologetic for being latina and they're standing up for other latinas in hollywood um other than mm, carmen perez our baby who yeah we carmen perez is my baby um is there anyone else that you feel that they've done a pretty good job i just feel like it's all talk so i don't really want to say much you i don't really, want to co-sign i don't want to co-sign anyone because number one i don't know them and um you know i i'm proud that people are speaking up and telling their stories but um again for me it's an it's action mm. you know it's action and um uh, if if there's a seat at the table why not open another seat instead of just keeping that seat for yourself and pretending you want to share <laughs> it's, 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 sorry yeah no but it's true Shit, i'm gonna get in trouble no you're not no one's gonna hire well, me here's the thing you didn't call out names so you're fine yeah, i'm not calling out names. But, um which is really important to understand this because that's what it is. It's this illusion of I'm a help, but I'm not going to help. I'm not going to look out for you. Mm -hmm. And it's really, it's really sad. It's hurtful. And I don't, it's painful to see that happen. And you just kind of like, damn, I really fell for the illusion. We all go through this in every industry. If someone doesn't have to be in Hollywood to feel getting played right yeah. we all get played man listen it happens to the best of us yeah, people just want to make it so bad that they don't even think about other yes people. exactly how has being dominican helped or hurt or you know it could be a combination of both do you feel that in the industry that that it's i guess accepted or do you feel that people don't really understand what being dominican is um no i don't really think people get what dominican is yet yeah. because again the opportunities are not too much you know like i'm i've played a fourth mexican already right i don't mind mexico te amo yeah. but i'm just saying um it would be cool to play like a dominican or you know right. someone of other descent than you know mexico because hello there's so many other countries that need to be represented um that is why i'm shooting my video laura loca mm -hmm. in the town where i grew up in santiago and um we're just gonna go out and do this amazing carnival and i'm gonna show you where i grew up like my grandma's house i'm gonna show you where i went to school for acting this. and singing and playing the saxophone and 
I grew up in in jazz. Like my uncle is a huge saxophonist in the DR, and that and I played for ten for ten oh years. Oh my gosh! Wait, so how often do you go to DR? I go almost every year. Every year I go because my family's still there, you know. Oh and I'm God. spoiled over there. But again, I'm like Ringa over there, and I'm like <laughs> first generation. I'm not accepted anywhere, yes. but I love everybody. <laughs> 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 so do they uh, do they realize what's happening with your career are they proud of you or oh yeah dominicans are really proud like i'm having a dope production company um uh do my my music video over there oh. yeah and it's so cool when you meet a dominican also because i feel like here there's a lot but right. in hollywood there's not no, too many not at, all. at all i was probably the only dominican me and dania ramirez <laughs> who, who were there back when i was you know and when i was 15. right so that was like a unicorn you know what i mean right. so it was really cool she's like oh you're gonna you have to just work hard and i remember her talking to me when she was in fat albert oh my god and gosh. i was yeah i was like 15 years old or something she was a sweetheart back then yeah there's not a lot of dominicans I'm no, to think but, right now. but Panavision, right? I'm going to talk about this girl. She, um, there's a woman who works for Panavision and she's Latina. And um, I was like, oh, tú eres Latina? And she's like, yes. I'm like, where from? She's like, Dominican Republic. Oh my God, yo también. <laughs> so she got me like amazing cameras for my video and she hooked <sighs> me up. I sent her some flowers and she's just dope. Oh my you know gosh. what I mean? I just feel like when you're like united with someone else in the industry who's Dominican, like right. it just feels dope like yes. you got there somehow and we want to help each other oh that's a beautiful feeling oh my gosh yeah it's definitely underrepresented in hollywood and i, I don't think people know the difference between dominicans no. puerto ricans and also we're all yeah. different colors people right. think we're just one color right no we you come could in go all to colors. dr and see every single skin tone possible exactly every every People's it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. And my little town is so cute. I, I mean, it could be called El Campo, but it's really not because the Campo, the village is right. close by. But my grandma's from um, Hanico. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, and I grew up around there. And I'm, I just want to show people like everybody's happy right. with some so like small things. Right. Like, people don't need anything to be right. happy. And I want to show that like. Uh, like since I was a little girl, we would always go to the hospital and give, you know, presents to the kids who didn't have any presents. And that's how my, my family showed me how like, you know, um, how, how privileged I was, right. you know, to have a home and have family, you know, and to see that at a young age, it changed my life. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. So I just feel like growing up in a third world country made me really who I am today. And, and I'm happy because I'm just so grateful to be where I'm at. And that's why I want to help my people. And you are, I mean, yeah. a production company creating music and, you know, you, and so the the production crew, the crew that's actually filming in DR, they're from DR? Um, yes, I'm only See? bringing two white people. <laughs> Jordan and Miriam who helped me do my video in New York but yeah I was like I want it to be all Dominican starring you're Dominican you're employing people you're giving them yeah. food technically yeah. right yeah. and I and I feel like that's so important that you're not exploiting you know the culture and I think a lot of people they'll bring their own people in from outside where you are actually hiring people from DR yeah. in DR it to have an so opportunity special. because they are just as equipped they're just as talented mm -hmm. they just don't have that opportunity. they just don't have that yeah and that's you know my whole my album is called that's coming out in the fall Ija de Chavez yeah and a lot of people don't know that my legal last name is Chavez See, really? Did I yeah. did not know that. No, I hid it for for a long time because I didn't talk to my dad for a long time. So I said he never really believed in in like what I was trying to do. Mm -hmm. So you know, being vindictive, you know, and the hate that I had back then, I don't hate him anymore. You know, I was a teenager. Right. I said I'm gonna be famous one day, which I don't care about anymore. Yeah. And I am go not gonna use your name. And I've changed my name a lot of times because of my identity i was lost i changed it to italian i've changed wow. it to to a, like i've changed it to a million things so cruise stuck because you know it's it's deep in my family but it was also you know people knew it right and then i just it felt was easy it for was people easy to catch people on. to catch on and um yeah so i have a song in there called Ija de Chavez, and, and it describes why I'm not named that. And it's like a reggae type vibe, which makes you want to dance. But it's saying why I don't use my name, but it's still Chavez is in my blood. So I, regardless of who I am, I'm still your daughter. 
Oh, that's powerful right there. Yeah. Have and have you spoke to him recently or how are things now? Uh, we're actually fighting right now. Um, again, right. I mean, I this 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 whole like I feel like my career, um, it's my my first it's my first time putting myself first and and my family, like some of them understand, but like new people that are come into my life that are in my family don't understand that. Right. And and they think I'm doing it for the reasons that are not true right and i was like well you don't know your daughter then <laughs> so like i don't easy he's like so we we just kind of stopped talking but kind of like me doing this song is like you know giving out a hand to like maybe talk again yeah and um my abuela her name is melva so th when the song starts it's melva try mel cafe <laughs> so that came up because my grandfather who had a barber shop in queens and she had a salon in queens wow yeah and um she was always working as my grandfather but he would always be like with no teeth melva try mel cafe <laughs> and i'm four years old and i'm like abuelo get your own coffee you know what i mean my grandma's working you know, and that was like another thing, like like machismo was huge, mm. you know, and my family still to this day. So it's just the song is powerful and it's showing you that, you know, you're independent and you can do it on your own. But, you know, you don't have to, like, pay all the bills. Right. You really don't have to <laughs> and do all the work, even though you can. But and you yeah, should definitely have can. to. Mm hmm. Oh, there's a lot going on. Yeah, I okay. have to come back after you yes. hear the album because you're really going to like it. I, I can't feeling. wait. Okay, so now speaking of businesses, and you have your own. You opened, it's like a spa coffee shop in LES, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's called Chill House, and yeah. um, I'm, I'm just an investor there. Right. I opened it up with uh, my friend Cindy, and uh, it's been really dope. I've just been in L.A. because when Orange, you know, right. when we stopped filming, I went over there because there are more opportunities over there, which I actually ended up just doing really? a movie. Yeah. There are more opportunities over there right now, especially huh. when the door just opened up for you. Right. People know your name a little bit more and it's different. Hollywood is not like it used to be for me, at least. Really? OK, yeah. explain that a little bit. Well, more. not that like regardless I'm still tr auditioning for the roles that I'm not getting because of my look, right. even if you're good or not. You know, it's just you also have to Facts. look that. Facts. Right. But I did get a role recently, and it's uh, for this indie movie called All the World is Sleeping. Mm -hmm. And it it's almost like Orange is a New Black, but in a rehabilitation center for, like, women who are recovering from wow. addiction. Okay. And I play a really dope character named Toaster, and she's different than Flaka for sure, but um, she's a crack yet <laughs> oh boy but wait a minute she's like you know black guy like don't judge her until you get to know her you right. know what i mean like orange is a new black it just shows like it's a disease you know what i right. mean and it could come from any walks of life and you it know toaster to yeah toaster comes from money and she's mm. she's an addict and it, it just shows all these different types of women mostly latina mm -hmm. and um i got to work with melissa barrera who's in the new tv show vida mm -hmm. on stars and she was incredible really? like she's an actress that like is you know super authentic when i walked in she hugged me and she said thank you because we're not really getting t paid too much because we're doing the, the this movie for the story it's and the art it's for the sure. art and we got to work with the women from la casa de guadalupe and it was just incredible. I got to meet the people that I'm playing, really. Wow. Yeah. And it's going to be an incredible film. I just Ooh. finished it. Yeah. Oh, I got goosebumps. When is that going to be out? Uh, is there... shoot, I don't know yet. Yeah. Probably, you know, at the end of this year, I'm sure. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah. And I got to do a song for them. I asked. Oh, I was about to ask. This is great. Yeah, it's called Never Walk Alone. I hope they pick it because I made it just so you get inspired at the end of the movie and you walk out feeling like you could, you know, recover from anything. Really. What would be your dream art your dream project is it a film and you you know making the whole soundtrack for it yeah, that's exactly it for for my movie i don't even i can't even say the name anymore because people like just steal everything these don't, days yeah. <laughs> yeah so i but it's incredible i'll tell you after yes <laughs> and um yeah i would love to i already wrote a song for this movie yeah and um yeah i would love to just make my own music for for the film that i'm working and that's my ultimate goal <sighs> you know what if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be you. Aww. 
I'm not even. Can you just give me butter? I just, <laughs> you know, when you know, and I, I guess because I've been doing, I've met so many different people, and you just have a different uh, light behind you. And I'm Thank so you. glad you are at this point. Like, I'm glad you are showing the world probably what so many of your close friends and family members already knew about you. But now you get to actually share this light with everybody. Yeah, it's because when you're an actress, I feel like you're almost hidden in a way because yes. you're not who you are you know play on tv so even when i go out people like in the studio like right. how i met my co-writer fifa um we walk i walked in the studio seven people everyone playing me their music and i'm like no i actually write my own you know and they're they're trying to make me sound like flaca almost and i'm like mm, but i'm not yeah <laughs> you know? that's what i play yeah so that was really he was the one person that was like no i get what you're trying to do and then they were like yeah the chavez no one's gonna understand that and i'm like i'm not doing this for anyone but myself so if you want to work with me you mm. can because i need to get it out because it's almost like therapy for me it like music saved my life in the hospital and it's saving my life again today you know right. and um after i met fifa he like found my sound it like he was already working on this his own bilingual album right. but this one like he knew what i wanted we listened to the music that i grew up listening to like dorothy i love the blues so dorothy moore you know billy holiday tracy chapman nina simone just all these genres the doors and we created this little lane for me and if it wasn't for him like i wouldn't i don't know songs just came out of my mouth like crazy me and him just wrote like this song that you have in right. 30 minutes after three days of knowing each other wow yeah that's when you know it's right yeah. that's when the chemistry is where it's supposed to be which is so important which is people could hear that mm. you know people are gonna people know when something's from the heart and when it isn't yeah and there's just so many talented people that like people don't know about right you know what i mean and i just feel like some celebrities like cop them and pretend it's theirs right and i hate that i love giving credit where it's due so you mm. know fifa co-wrote it with me and i've been working with andre harris right. who's worked with michael jackson actually oh my god and Whitney houston and um he's someone that i wasn't kind of myself in the studio because again i was scared to be myself and then he's like jackie you crazy and because when he heard the music i was doing with with fifa he was just like where where did Where this come this? from? I need yeah, this. Exactly. So I've been working with him and Bravo. Nice. Now, did you ask Andre questions about Michael Jackson and Whitney? We were Everything. Like, he is a comedian. Oh. He's amazing. Like, literally, I'm in the studio and there's a picture of Whitney and Michael and oh my with Andre. And I was just like, hello. <laughs> like, I, I was singing, like, super safe, you know? Because yeah. I'm scared to let go because I don't want to mess up. Of course. You know? And he thought I was good when I wasn't even trying. So I was like, okay. So now, like, I feel like, it's not like I'm, like, Winnie Houston or anything, but I found my voice. Right. Like, I found my, my, my vibe and, like, he's feeling it now, you know? So I'm excited. Oh, this is just the beginning. Yeah. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. This is just the beginning. It really, really is. It's uh, and you know, never put a time limit on your exactly. dream. Like even if I was forty, which I'm not, right? But if I was forty, I would still be doing this because I. This I is your do calling. It. Yeah, I feel like it is. Do you feel that you try to fight your calling, and then it just you just were like, you know what? Kind of because it was it was hard. Like I told you, I'm really vulnerable when I sing. Like I have to take a shot of whiskey before I go on stage. <laughs> but the moment, thir can I say that? Yeah. The moment, thirty seconds after, when like, I don't know. I feel the energy of the people. Yeah. I f I feel safe again, and I just let loose and become like who I really am. When you see other Latinas winning, do you feel that you're winning as well? Like when you see Cardi B yes. and the success she's having. I mean, and people didn't understand. Dominicans so are like, wait, yeah. what? That's not Puerto Rico. And you're just like, oh, geez. Yeah. But for so, you, mm -hmm. do you feel that, damn, there's room for all of us? Really? Really? A lot. Of so room. I am so excited for the Latinas blowing up because, again, you, you're you opening also a lane for all of us, right. you know, and she's doing the, the Spanish, too. And, you know, regardless, she has like a huge following. So. Of course, she's opening that lane and then, you know, opening it for us. And maybe mine is more this way. But regardless, there's a lane. 
everyone can get money. Everyone can be successful. And I, I feel like this is a good time. Well, you, you, you open up your platform for us. Yes. You know what I mean? I, I, that's what I try to use my platform for. I try to use my platform for those who just, you know, they, they need the support because their voice isn't valued and mm -hmm. it should be valued. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy you're at this point. Thank you. And I hit I you up. Know. I hit you up. I didn't know you were <laughs> at this point, but I felt like it was coming. But to see it now in person and to feel it. Yeah. And Thank I love you. that you're loyal. You know, you were talking about your girl who does your makeup. And I was just like, I love the loyalty in this. Yeah. I mean, loyalty is really big in my, I don't know for me yeah like in my heart because i never had loyalty really growing up mm. whether it's my mom whether it's my dad like i was shipped everywhere mm. so I, I did get a lot of love from every everyone which is great but loyalty is something really important to me oh yeah, yeah. especially when you didn't have it and you want it and you are loyal yourself you're like yeah. no it's important to me really important Okay, so I guess we could talk about season six. Oh, okay. <laughs> I am also on Orange is the yeah. Black. <laughs> I, one of the most successful shows. Now, how, what's going to happen with Flocka? What's going on? So, I, you know, I can't really talk much about right. it, but I'm in it. So that's good. Right. <laughs> you, know? you made it. We're you good. Made it. It's like Survivor up in there. <laughs> and um, I made it. And <laughs> I made it to season six, <laughs> you know, <laughs> which is incredible. And um Bye bye, Litchfield. It's official. It's, it's official. Okay. We had some official pictures, right? I, official yes. pictures of of the new prison. Yeah, official ones. And um, it's a new it's a new game. Yeah. Okay, so how new? Brand new. I feel like it's a new it's a new it's a new location. So I just you know what happens with new locations. <sighs> So everyone's like, I need to know what happens with Flocka, what happens with Maritza. And well, soon, July uh, 27th. Oh, my gosh. Finally, some gosh. Don't you hate it when great TV shows are off the air and you're just like, damn it, I need this back right now? Yeah, I've been waiting, too. I filmed it six months ago. So, yeah. yeah. So do you watch every episode? I'm not going to lie. Hell yeah. And the first day. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see, like, what, you know, take they chose. Because you do, like, ten of them and you do it different ways. So it's interesting to see what they Interesting. Chose. Okay, see, for us who don't act, we have no idea how this works. So yeah. you are watching that cut for the first time like the rest of us. Exactly. We don't know anything. Maybe they show us a little bit like when we're doing audio, like ADR. Right. And then I, I'm like, ooh, I take a picture of it, but like just for like TBT 2019 or something. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, and it's exciting. It's exciting because... I feel like, you know, I feel like this show has come so far and we I feel like we've made history and to be a part of like a show about women written for women and like, you know, streaming globally like we're that's crazy. And you know what I loved uh, the first time we talked and how you actually went to prisons and you actually had conversations. And I feel like that authenticity is what you see on the show. Yeah. There's compassion. Mm -hmm. There's empathy. I think it's coming from that approach versus someone who has no idea of really what's happening, but they just think it's, oh, I can make money off this show concept. I, I like that you took the time to go to prisons. Well, well, the thing was that it wasn't my choice to go to prison. <laughs> 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 so anyways that was back you know when i was um younger so i did experience that mm -hmm. but what when i met the women right it was after prison for the second chances for uh with the women's prison association because mm -hmm. e almost every year i perform for them right before orange is the new black and we raised mm -hmm. money for you know their homes and um after they they help them get new jobs they help them get their kids back they help them get clothes to get a job you know what i mean right. so so um I did a campaign for them called Second Chances, and that's when I learned about the women and how easy it is to go into prison. Yes. And and how easy it is to be stuck in the system. Especially with when you start to understand bail and how all these uh, all different the policies so are used. So if you had to, money, I, right. you'd be out. Cool. Exactly. So imagine the people that are in there right Which now. is the majority of people who don't have money. and exactly. and, and then you start... Mostly brown and... Yes. African. Yes. American. And that's how... That's how capitalism works in America. You know, people don't realize it's a system. And the system is it's purposely placed. Purposely. It's not an accident what you're seeing. This isn't like, oh my gosh, the system is broken. No, it is working the way it's supposed to work. Exactly. It's slavery. Yes. It and is it's, slavery. 
absolutely. And and I and I'm ah, to have a conversation with someone who gets it so refreshing. Yeah, no, I I um I I know it so much more than you. I can't even tell you. Yeah. Because, you know, I just I just do and I can't talk about it, but like it's really messed up in there. It's right. really messed up like the things that are going on like really messed up. You know, some days people are like maybe a holiday or something and they get stuck like in a shoe for four days and don't have any water and have to bathe in milk. So that's a story that I, you know, heard personally and that broke my heart. You know what I mean? I'm just like because it's Christmas and people are working and they don't have opportunity to give a person, a human being water. So you had to bathe yourself in milk. OK, that's the kind of when you hear, system that that is. When you hear these stories, do you cry? Of course. Heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. It is. How much of that are we going to see in the new season? Do we get to see these these you know, stories come to life? You know, can I be honest with yeah. you? Um, I'm a fan of the show, so um, I go like this. Flaga. Yeah. <laughs> Flaga. Because I do know what's happening, you know, as a whole. But I try not to, like, read in detail because I like to watch it. So, like I told you, I will sit home for 13 hours, order pizza, and watch that <laughs> show. Because I love to watch my friends kill it. Yeah, because my friends are dope, you know, yeah. and, and, you know, some of us, you know, are still really close. Some of us ha have left the show. Some of us, you know, um, it's just really amazing to watch. Who would you say is your best friend on the show? Um, I would have to say like Di Diane. Diane. Yeah, because, yeah, we've we've had our ons and offs, but right. yeah. it's definitely an on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, she's 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 a friend, you know, she's a good friend. And we've, we've started from zero and. Literally, when people started recognizing us, yeah. we were like Flaca and Maritza. She's like, oh, my God, I think we're, like, famous. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, my God, they know me. And it was just silly. We were at in Soho, and people were, like, taking pictures of us, like, I don't know, that is season cute. one or two. That yeah. is really cute, though. Yeah, it was really cool to, like, like have the journey with, with someone. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love that. That there's no better feeling than that. Mm -mm. And we kind of like separated, um, like now because she's in LA. Right. But like I'm gonna go see her. Oh, so it's nothing. Yeah. It's no. Like, no. Right. It's just for like since the show has been off or whatever. Yeah. So I can't really. Oh, this is so yeah. fun. How does she feel about your music? How oh, does she, she feel loved about it. your liberation? Yeah, she loves it. She says, I'm so proud of you. You know, she sent me some text messages and um, she knows that I've been, you know, on, on this for a long time. And so does my, my cast and, and Genji. Yeah. Like my, my goal, and I'm putting it out there in the world, is to have my song in the show yeah. some, someday. Do you so. feel... Have you been able to pitch that yet? Or yeah, what? yeah. Okay, cool. I've been, I've been, I've talked to a producer about it. I've sent them my one song, but right. I want to send them my album because I have some really cool stuff that I think they might like. Oh, fingers crossed. Yeah, thank oh you. my God. Maybe if not for this season, the next one. Oh, absolutely. Whatever season, we'll take Maybe it. Maybe like Flaga can sing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy for yeah, you. Yeah, thank you so much. I, it's the first time I get to like talk, you know? Yes. Interviews are usually short and you don't no. get to like. This Say is what everything. this platform's for, and I'm just, I'm so happy for you because that feeling is, it's priceless. Yeah, this it feeling is. that you have right now, this light that you have is, there's no, there's nothing in this world can compare to it. No. And nobody can really shit on it. No. You know, you're kind of like, oh, that's how you feel? No problem. Yeah. Cool. On to the next. On to the next. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am so excited. And when is the video going to come out? When do we have an, a kind oh, of... Oh, so I'm recording it like uh, in July, like early July. So I want to get it out there by like mid-July. Okay. So we're going to be looking out for this. Yes. I am so excited to see this. It's going to be fun because I'm getting to direct a little bit part of it. Because I, I did my... Um, directorial debut yep. or something mm -hmm. uh, recently and it was just a two minute short and um and it continued into my music video which was dope Ooh. so i didn't direct the video but i directed the short yes so it just like i don't know i think i like i'm a visionary yeah <laughs> okay so like i'm gonna put you on camera yes. i'm gonna call you if i have a role yes for you. i'm there anything <laughs> you need yeah. i am hey don't even say that because i will call i you. know what it's like to be you know you want to come up and you want to it's like weird. You have to work with people that feel your vibe, that they're on the same frequency as you. They got the same energy as you because otherwise it, the magic isn't there. So if there's anything I could ever do to help you out, because I'm just so happy you're liberated and free. 
it's just uh you're gonna have to do something in my yes, video a little let, cameo whatever you need all right with new york when I'm i do there. the next one okay absolutely and say hi to your family when you go back thank home you. yeah and just know that we're all rooting for you, man. Thank like you. you got this. Thank you, thank you. I I feel like like music is what's gonna open the doors, not for just you know me, but for you know that lane of people that yeah. are like me, first generation. Like I speak Spanish fluent and I speak English fluent. Why can't I just combine both? You can. Yeah. And trust me, it's there. And yeah. people have done it, and they've been successful. Now it's been slim. But that's purposely like that. So now you guys just gotta rush in. You yeah. know, it's it's there though. Jackie, I'm so happy Thank for you. you. Thank I can't you. explain the light that you are exuding Thank right you now. So much. You will see probably your fans will let you know. But for those who kind of didn't know too much about you and they're learning about you, they're going to definitely fall in love with this mm, light. Thank you so much. I just want to give a shout out. Can yeah, I? of course. Okay, hey, to um, my co-writer, FIFA, F-E-E-F-A. Um, he wrote the, my whole album with me yeah. and his new album just came out June 1st and it's called Estilo de Vida, nice. which is lifestyle. And I want you to check it out. Yeah, of so course. I want you to know, tell me what you think about it. Of course. Absolutely. Yeah. And I love that you give credit and love to where it's due. A lot of people try to not do that, but for what we could all eat and we could all be successful exactly. together. I want to like, you know, help out the everyone who's helped me because honestly, you can't do this alone. Yep. People need to understand that. Like, I'm not good at everything. Like, right. Someone does have to kind of say yes to you in a way. I do say yes to myself, you know, and I, I just stopped working with people that I had to chase. If I could like, you know, ah. give advice to anyone, just like, you know, Forget about those people that you have to chase all the time. Work with the people who want to work with you. Talk about it. Yes. And that's when I, that's how I met FIFA. Yes. It was like a random person that I met at the Grammys. And he said, I have some writers that can come in. Because I was looking for Spanish writers. Right. I'm stronger in the English part. And that's how I met it, him. And that's how it took off. I love that. That's so important. And I wish people understood that work with people who want to work with you. Yeah. Stop chasing somebody else's vision that doesn't care about you. Mm -hmm. It Ugh. happens every day. It happens in everything, mm -hmm. right? Not just in our industry, but everything. Like, why would you want to be around someone who doesn't believe in you? It's so funny when they do because they, they're like, oh, she sings and she's a part of this sh TV show. Like, she has a platform. Right. And, and I noticed that they, they were just interested because I was on the show, right. not because of my artistry or, like, you know, what I can do. And that's where I started to see mm. the, the truth. And, um, and then I started to back off and, and work with, like, legit real people. There's so many talented people yes, out there. Is. It's crazy. Ja I, Jackie, <laughs> I literally cannot stop with you. I'm so oh, happy for you. Thank you so much. And send me everything. Everything. I want it all. Yeah, I'm going to give And give me you. your light. I love yes, this. Yes, you this have energy. the light. Hello. Listen, I you wouldn't know be what? in your show if you didn't. That means a lot to me. I love you so much, Jackie. No, and don't be away for so long. I know. I'm coming back. Okay, good. Okay, and have August? fun. August? Can yeah, I come back in August? Of course. Okay. Let's do it. When my August. album is out. Absolutely. And have fun in DR when you go out there, okay? Absolutely. I had a ball when I was there. That's amazing. It's amazing. Did you go to Puerto Plata? Um, or you went to Punta Cana? No, I went to... La Romana. No, keep saying more. Uh, uh, David, what is it? Casa de Campo. No... Puerto Plata, Sosua. Por, yes. Sosua. Sosua? That's my, Sosua. You know, that's my beach. That's where Is I grew it up. really? I thought you were going to say Punta no. Cana because that's where all the no, tourists go. No, that's where everybody goes. Oh, and I was you like, went no, to, to we Sosua. went to Sosua. <gasps> Paul and I went to, and we loved it. Oh, my God. No, that's that's where I grew up. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. And the people, right? Oh, my gosh. That's where I want to show the, the people. The love. I just can't even explain. Like, I if know. you haven't gone, you need to go. It just, that's like our getaway. So I yeah. try not to tell too many people only yeah. because it's like a safe haven. It is. To travel, it's not that far from And New especially York. like Sosua. Yes. It's a little place and it looks the same as when I was a little baby really? until now. Okay, good. Okay, people, go visit, but don't go visit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Only the real ones go Only visit. Only the real ones. <laughs> Only the real ones will go because, again, it's not a touristy, too exactly. much touristy. People who go there for a tourist end up just staying. 
Yes. Like usually from Europe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh Jackie, I could do this all day. I know, me don't too. be too don't be away no, for too no, long. We'll promise? Hang out. I promise, I promise. Okay, good. Sounds <laughs> you gotta good. go for a drink too. Yes. Cause you know I'm also a a, a partner at a bar too. Well, you what know. don't you do? Well, I'm you know, I started as a waitress, so hospita- hospitality <laughs> yes. has always been my thing. So I love hosting. Can I love you to get where? you drinks. Where, where? Yeah, it's called the Garrett East. Okay. And um, it's on um, 206 Avenue A, I believe. Damn, yeah. you do everything. And it's with the same partners as, as Chill House. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Do you sleep? Oh, uh, no, not in the last year. But it's okay because my <laughs> album is going to be dope. And you as look you can amazing. See, have, like, but that's because my makeup say. artist here. You look fabulous. Thank it looks you. like you definitely got eight to ten hours. No, of sleep. actually, I came in yesterday at seven a.m. from uh, L.A. Did all the press, Ugh. and then today was really cool. Yeah, today this was is really where you cool. have fun. Yeah, yes, Jackie. Ended with you. Yeah, save the but, best. And you're done now. Yeah, I'm done. I'm oh, done you're good. Now. Oh yeah, I'm good. Oh, you're good. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Jackie. Yeah, I love you. Me. Thank you for being here. Yes, absolutely. Thank you.